Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be sharing my top favorite liquid lipsticks. I feel like that's the only thing I go towards when putting on lips, minus today, I put on a gloss. But I feel like I don't even go towards my lipsticks anymore. I just use liquid lipsticks, they are great. And I wanna share with you guys my favorites. I will also do swatches, show them on my lips, and just go into depth on why I like it and things like that. So I'll be sharing those with you. And yeah, if you guys are interested on in seeing my faves, then please keep watching. So starting off, I just wanna let you guys know that I did just realize they are all like in the same color scheme. Forgive me, please. That's literally all I wear is like nudie pinks, mauves, nudes. Um, they're different to me. They're different brands. They feel different and they look different. So just had to throw that out there. But anyway, uh, yeah, starting off would be the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks. These are amazing. These are fairly new and I have talked about them on my channel. I did just use this one in my last video and the tutorial and I love it. So yeah, let's go ahead and swatch them for you. This one is in the shade Push Up and this one is in Embellishments. I do have another one that is like in my car or something, so I don't know where it is at the moment, but yeah, I love them. I had to pick up three because they're gorgeous. So they're really inexpensive and overall they don't feel drying on the lips at all for me. Um, I like to moisturize prior to using any type of liquid lipstick just in case you get like that drying feeling or anything like that. Just so you can have your liquid lipstick looking good and feeling good all day, I like to go ahead and moisturize. So when I moisturize, I like to use the Aquaphor if I'm like home that I can like put my finger in like the pot. But if I'm out, I like to use like any type of hydrating lip balm. And so with these, these aren't like super duper liquidy. They definitely are on the thicker side, I feel. They're not like dripping wet as soon as you open it up or anything. They do have a doe foot applicator, which I like. And this one is in the shade Push Up, so I will swatch it for you right now. I'm having deja vu because I definitely just did this like in like three videos ago, like in my favorites or something. So forgive me, but <laughs> yeah. This one's a really pretty like nudie pink. I feel like it's more on the nude side. I'll also throw on what it looks like on the lips as well. I think it's super pretty and definitely is like a really nice shade. I feel like I have a lot of shades like this, but it looks different on the lips to me. So I enjoy it. <laughs> and back to like the formulation of it, it is a little bit more on the thicker side. And as soon as you put it on the lips, it doesn't like feel like it's soaking wet and then go like super dry. It kind of feels the same throughout like the first 15, 20 minutes. And then it kind of just looks like it went a little matte. You don't feel anything drastic, which is nice. And then we have embellishments. And I did just put this in a tutorial. So if you want to see me using it, you can go ahead and check that video out. But this one is what it looks like swatch. It's super pretty. It's more on like the cool tone purple it's like a muted purple I really like it and on the lips sometimes it looks like a dark grayish purple and then it also looks like a bright purple depending on like what lighting you're in and I really enjoy it it's definitely like one of the colors that I like to wear if I need like a pop of color because I feel like it's a bolder statement for me even though it's like a cooler tone I really enjoy it same exact formula same feel it's really nice and yeah <laughs> So my next one is by Stila, and this is the Say All Day Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Caramello, and it is gorgeous. Like, I am in love with it, and some people make fun of me because it is super duper similar to all my shades that I have, but it's like, I just needed it. Like, do you ever get that feeling where you're just like, I have you, but I can use another one? Yeah, like, I just needed it. So, yeah, there's no justifying. I just really wanted it. So it's a really pretty, like, nudie pink again, <laughs> but it looks different to me. On my lips, it looks really like ashy, but it's a pretty ashy. I can't really explain it. So this is what it looks like swatched. So gorgeous. It's like super light, but on my lips, it looks like, it's like a nude, I guess. I don't know. It just feels really nice. These are really nice because they don't really move at all throughout the day. Literally, the name is Stay All Day, and they don't go anywhere. I've eaten and drank with it, and they don't transfer. They don't come off. It's great. They don't feel uncomfortable either. Some liquid lipsticks feel really uncomfortable. It feels like your lips are about to crack off or you know what I mean, like just weird. No, this doesn't have anything like that, which I like. And it looks really smooth throughout the day and it feels smooth. So that's definitely something that I look for in a liquid lipstick. And I feel like Stila's, you really get that payoff of it. It's great. And I mean, this was a little pricey. It was like 20 something, but I feel like if I'm gonna wear it all day long, it literally will last all day long. Like I wore it to work and it lasted throughout the entire day. I had a lunch break and everything and like it lasted and I didn't eat it off. So that was good. It's really nice quality. So that was Caramello. 
next one comes to no surprise and they are by ColourPop. I have three of them. This one I think was like a limited holiday thing or something like that, but I'll still share with you. And these ones are Kapow and Beeper and I love them. Some people have mixed opinions and feelings on them, but I really like them. So it is really liquidy when you first put it on. It does dry a little bit faster than I would like it to, but it does give a nice quality and coverage to the lips and everything like that. So it doesn't like look patchy or anything in my opinion, at least with the colors that I have. And they're super pretty colors. So this one's Kapow and it's like more of that deeper grayish tone which is really pretty. And I feel like, again, I would only really wear that if I'm like going out or like a pop of color because that's not my everyday shade at all, but it's a really pretty color. And I feel like the payoff of these for only six bucks is awesome. So before using my ColourPop, I do like to moisturize, especially just because throughout the day, I feel like the wear is just a little bit different than my other liquid lipsticks. I feel like these kind of get a little drier, a little quicker, but I feel like the pigmentation on them is super high quality for just six bucks. And it that one was Kapow, and this one is Beeper, which is my legit favorite. I'm always wearing it, and it just looks awesome. And it, the ColourPop ones, I feel like a lot of people say that they look like the Kylie Jenner ones, which is true. You can dupe the Kylie ones for the ColourPop ones. So that one is Beeper. And they're just super gorgeous. And, like, look at my hand. Like, this is all that I want in life. It's gorgeous. <laughs> um, so, yeah, those were the ColourPop ones. This is also ColourPop. It's shade Bianca. And it's just like a mini one, but the color is like a pinkish. Oh, it's so pretty. Right there. It's so gorgeous. So, yes, the formulation of the ColourPop ones I really enjoy. They go on the lips super smooth and just are just awesome. I like the matte look lately. That is like my go-to look. And sometimes if I want it to be a little shiny, I will just throw a gloss over top but I just love that look of them. And then the last one is by Maybelline. It's the Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Nude Thrill. Again, nude shade, but it's, it's super pretty, and this one has like that feel like the NYX ones, super velvety, and not so much like a legit liquid, which is nice, and it feels hydrating like creamy on the lips. So those were all of the liquid lipsticks that I've been obsessing over lately. They're literally my favorite and my go-to and I will be repurchasing once I'm all out. And like nude mauve goodness, you know? <laughs> um, so yeah, those are my faves. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and maybe found it a little helpful. Also, a little tip with using liquid lipsticks is using a moisturizer. Just make sure your lips are super hydrated, maybe exfoliate beforehand so they're not crusty and like chapped. That's the worst thing to do is put a liquid lipstick over chapped lips. It's just not gonna look cute and I just recommend to just go ahead and exfoliate and moisturize and then you'll be all good to go. So be sure to give this video a big thumbs up for me if you enjoyed and go ahead and subscribe if you guys are not a part of the family already. I love you guys so, so much and I just wanna thank you guys for always supporting me and watching me and it just means a ton and I just love you. So thank you again. And yeah, I will have these products listed down below for you guys. They were all within like the same brand and just like a different color, but I do really reach towards those mostly and I just wanted to share with you guys. So I think that's it for this video and I will see you in my next one.